Oh, re <laughs> really? <laughs> really, this is episode two of the United Reef Report. We have a few names to talk about on this episode. A new name enters the fray, Lazandro Martinez. Some new information on the Christian Eriksen deal. And uh, we're going to talk a little Richard Arnold towards the end. So, Manchester United's search for a new defender continues. It was obvious that a defender was going to be top priority. Or Pau Torres has been talked about. Timber. Now, a new name is uh, Lisandro Martinez. Now, Mike Verweeg is a reporter that is breaking the news that Manchester United is looking into a possible transfer of IX defender Lisandro Martinez. Now, I'm very excited about this news, not only because of, you know, a great defender possibly joining our team. It's because of the fact that Mike Verweege is reporting this, who is tier one source for, for anything IX related. So this is very reputable reporting. So who is Lazandro Martinez? Uh, he's 24 to begin with, so slightly on the younger side. IX player of course so Ten Hag is going to be very familiar with him the only reservation the only downside here is his height now he's 5'9 and a lot of people had reservations or pointed out that Timber was also 5'10 was on the shorter side so those same people might not like Lisandro Martinez very much at one inch shorter than Timber he is in the Argentinian squad of course, he won't start, I don't think, in the World Cup over, say, an Otamendi or a Romero. But he is a very good option off the bench. And it makes you think if Ten Hag is going in that direction. Is he good enough to uh, start over a Maguire, a Lindelof, someone who's going to partner with Varane in the center back pairing? It's also important to know and very impressive that he can play defensive mid with center back so i think that's very important a center back that could play defensive mid possibly are we looking for him to start primarily at cdm that's yet to be known and if there's a comparison to help you visualize this player he's a shorter eric bailly so the same pros and cons that we have with eric bailly you know he's great on the ball he's very aggressive but maybe a little too aggressive at times and puts himself into trouble. So yeah, just the, the Argentinian Eric Bailly is Lisandro Martinez. Now, this transfer has been in talks with Arsenal for a while. We would be taking one away from Arsenal if we do sign Martinez. They have been working on this transfer. Arteta has been interested in the player. So it'd be really funny to hijack the, the transfer this late in their negotiations. At this point, I'm very much in approval of getting any type of transfer over the line. We've seen other clubs, namely uh, Spurs, getting many transfers. Liverpool City doing the business, and we have we have yet to sign a player. So, if Lisandro Martinez is our first signing, I would be okay with that. Now, with Christian Eriksen, uh, Fabrizio Romano is reporting that Spurs have slowed interest on uh, on Eriksen. Instead, they're turning their focus to uh, a right back, a center back, and a striker. Gives us a boost for Ericsson. And uh, I've been hearing that Ericsson and De Jong are top of Ten Hag's list. And lastly, Richard Arnold, our CEO. I know most of you have seen this anywhere from Twitter, YouTube, circulating the internet. Now, there's been video of him where he went out and confronted a protest near his house so of a small group of Manchester United supporters who wanted their voices heard kind of made a, a fuss outside his house near a pub he went out bought them all drinks sat them down and spoke candidly with the fans some of the things he said I'll play a little for you guys yeah I, I'm not thrilled where we are right I, I don't just it easy I worry right we've got to get this sorted for the future but What's happened is we fucking burned through ash on. Some of the things he, he talked about was, you know, calling last season a nightmare, which it was. He also reiterated that we do have the funds to get any player we want. Talked about stadium repairs. Uh, even took shots at Ed Woodward saying that he would never be involved in transfers unlike the other guy before him. 
the reason I'm talking about this is the fact that someone would secretly record this whole interaction. First, you have common courtesy to another human being, you know, privacy, integrity, stuff like that. Secondly, do you think this will ever happen again from United official? You think someone like Murta or Tunhog or any other high ranking official would ever speak this candidly to, to fans in public knowing that there's a possibility of someone secretly filming them without their consent and sharing it to the internet. And now this was a great gesture, I think, by Richard Arnold, our new CEO. I think he carried himself well. He spoke well to that idiot of a fan who, who kind of ruined the moment there. It just stops that transparency, that, that communication between fan and the higher ups. We've complained before about our disconnect from the board that they don't listen to our uh, grievances and they seem to make decisions uh, without our approval without our consent and you have someone like Arnold actually breaking that barrier breaking bread with fans talking candidly with them and then you go out and do a disservice like sharing those uh, those private moments to the internet which I found very very disrespectful so that has been episode number two of the United Reef Report. Subscribe for more. I appreciate you guys for listening. Cheers, guys.